2020 February 10. Daily Bread. Passage. Romans chapter 15 verse 1 to 13. Key verse, verse 7. Title, Accept One Another in Christ Jesus. Bible Passage. We who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good, to build them up. For even Christ did not please himself but, as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide we might have hope. May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. So that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Accept one another, then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. For I tell you that Christ has become a servant of the Jews on behalf of God's truth, so that the promises made to the patriarchs might be confirmed. And, moreover, that the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. As it is written, therefore I will praise you among the Gentiles, I will sing the praises of your name. Again, it says, Rejoice, you Gentiles, with his people. And again, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, let all the peoples extol him. And again, Isaiah says, The root of Jesse will spring up, one who will arise to rule over the nations, in him the Gentiles will hope. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Daily Bread Message 1. Bear with the failings of the weak, Paul encourages his readers to follow Christ's example in our relationship with others, especially, when we come across a Christian whose faith is weak, we should bear with their failings. That is what Christ did, he wasn't selfish, he did not please himself, but he built others up, Paul prayed that God would give the believers in Rome a spirit of unity as they followed Christ. The end result of which would be the glorification of God our Father and Jesus Christ our Lord. So, let us accept one another, Christ accepted us, even as dirty sinners as we are. So we should accept our brothers and sisters, for the praise and glory of God. 2. The Gentiles will hope in Christ, Jesus came as a Jew in order to save, first the Jews, but the Jews rejected him and crucified him, so, God sent the gospel to the Gentiles. God who was the hope of the Jews also became the hope of the Gentiles, the Gentiles accepted the gospel and came to the praises of God, in fulfillment of God's word in the Old Testament. Prayer. Lord, grant us a spirit of unity between brothers and sisters. Help us to give praise to you. One word. Jesus brings us all into unity.